It wasn't all that long ago that Florida A&M was the class of the MEAC conference. In recent seasons, the program's fallen on hard times, though. Brian Jackson made the trip to Tallahassee and caught up with the man the Rattlers hope can turn things around. 2011 was the last time that FAMU had a winning season. And the Rattlers haven't won more than four games in six long years. But for Willie Simmons, this wasn't an opportunity he could pass up. This was always a program that once I began coaching was kind of my dream job. Simmons grew up just a couple of miles down the road from FAMU in nearby Quincy where he was a high school legend. One of his best memories is battling all of those tough teams out of Jacksonville. A lot of great athletes that have come out of that area. Um, of course, I know personally, we, we would always face them, you know, in high school, and they were always our hurdle. You know, we couldn't seem to get over the Jacksonville hump. FAMU already has a handful of players from the First Coast, and Simmons is hoping that their new AstroTurf will convince even more kids to join the Rattlers. When I came on my visit, like, a few months ago, when I walked on the field, it was like a lot of potholes, you know, it was... It was, it, was messed up, it was messed up bad, bad. And all the players were telling me how, to, how they used to step in potholes and how bad it was. But now we look at the turf today, everybody was really excited and ready to play. It's critical. You know, the young men these days, they want to see the top-notch facilities. They want to see, you know, brand new uniforms. You know, they want to see, uh, you know, new lockers and, and new technology. So, you know, whenever you're trying to attract top-caliber student-athletes, you want to be able to show them nice things. Bam, you will take the field on their brand new turf for the first time on September the 1st in their home opener against Fort Valley State. In Tallahassee, Brian Jackson, Channel 4, The Local Station.